hi guys welcome to this video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to customize websites visually so how to change the css of your website and change around a lot of stuff without actually coding so i'm going to show you how to use this chrome extension called visual css editor and what you can use it to do is to basically rearrange your website edit your website customize everything on your website visually on the browser and then what you can just do is to export the css code that has all the new changes that you have made so i'm going to show you how to do this the first thing we're going to do is to create a very simple to-do list app so we're going to create this app on javascript and we're going to run this app and then i'm going to show you how to use this chrome extension to basically edit that app so make sure you go to visualcsseditor.com there will be a link in the description below check around and then we'll come back to it when it's time to edit our website now to create this to-do list app i'm not going to be coding it from scratch i'm actually going to be using this ai tool that i've been hearing about so apparently there's a new tool called boat and it can literally create a full stack web application from scratch and i just thought it's a great idea to use this to build our to-do list app and see how effective it actually is so i'm on the website right here i think the url is boat.new and i'm just going to key in a phrase and i'm just going to say create to-do list app now let's see what it does wow this is actually really good as you can see it's creating like a workspace like its own ide in the browser and it's writing all of that in real time that is quite good good as you can see we have this preview right here so it literally created this to-do list app for us in under seconds which is quite good and i can see how useful this will be for me as a developer I'm just going to test this out. I'm going to say go for a run. Add. Okay. Read a book. Let's see the functionalities. Okay, this is quite good. Great. Now, what I'm going to do is to download the source code for this that it built, and then I'm just going to run it locally. And then I'm going to show you how to use this Chrome extension to then edit around. As you can see, this it's very simple and plain but what i'm going to do is i'm going to change some stuff up and i'm going to show you how to do that basically in the browser by just literally dragging and dropping everything around without actually having to code or change your css code so let me download the source code that has been downloaded and what i'm going to do is to basically open this up in visual studio code so this is opened and as you can see here this is good what I'm just going to do now is to run this app. So I'm just going to quickly open up the terminal right here. And I'm just going to, first of all, install all the dependencies. So I'm just going to say npm install. And that is going to go ahead and do that for me. So all the dependencies required for this app to successfully run is going to do that. So let's give that a couple of seconds. Great. So as you can see, it says added 275 packages. That works successfully. And now what I'm going to do is to say npm run dev so as you can see this ran this for us and this started it on this port so i'm just going to copy this and paste it in the browser now we can just paste it in here and hit enter so as you can see that to-do list app is successfully running let's quickly try it out i a then we can do this this is good but now what we want to do is to be able to edit this so let's say we used whatever tool to create this application and we want to change how it looks we want to change the styling but you know how it takes a lot of time to change certain features in css for example if we were to move this around or maybe bring this to the bottom we have to go into the code and write css styling code to do that but with this extension we can just literally drag it and put it down here or do whatever we want and it's just going to generate that css code for us and then we can just place it in our app so this is the extension right here i just clicked on it and then it brought me to this page but i'm going to come back to this before this let me show you how to install this extension so go to visualcsseditor.com and what you just need to do is to click on add to chrome then it's going to take you to the chrome extension page and you just need to install that so once you install that you'll be good and you can come in here and sign in so once you sign in you have an account and you know you can use the free version or you can upgrade to premium whatever you want to do so you can sign in here to create an account so i already have my account logged in and what i'm going to do now is to come back 
to my to-do list application so what i did here was to just click on that extension this is the extension right here you just have to go to the page that you want to edit in this instance it is this app and you just have to click on the icon of the extension it's going to reload that page but now as you can see we have certain settings this settings allows us to visually edit this app so what you need to do is to click on element inspector and now you can do whatever you want so let's say for this to-do list text I, i'm just going to click on it if i want to drag it and make it bigger all i need to do is to just drag it like this and that just you know increases the padding and margins and stuff and i can come in here and i can do a lot of stuff in here so for this text i can change the color i can make it blue as you can see make it match this i can change the weight make it bold i can change the font size make it smaller or bigger the line height i can do that i can change it to italic i can change the alignment which is this is very good if you if you if you use css a lot you know that you have to write the styling for every single one of these before you can make these changes but if we can just do it right here by clicking buttons that is really good to me you know you can increase the word spacing as you can see letter spacing also you can easily do all of this with just this extension this is quite useful um you can change the background i can change the background color to have its own background i don't think that's really useful here i'm just going to change it back to white i'm going to use no background instead yeah you can do a lot of stuff you can even put an image as a background you know you can put make it blur you can do quite a few things we can add yeah you can change the padding and all of that we're going to leave it as it is for now you can add borders which is quite interesting so you can add borders right here you know you can change the styling of the borders so let me increase it as you can see you can change the styling of the borders and you can do all of that so there's so much things you can do in here and you have all of these features and this is just for one element now I can come here again so I could just come here and click on flexible inspector and then I could select whatever so now I'm going to select this and I can drag this you know down like this as you can see I'm dragging that box I can select this instead so I'm just going to come back here select this instead make this bigger very easily so as you can see I can easily do all of this which is very very good and now once I am done with editing and I've done whatever I want to do, I can just easily click on the export button. So once I export this, it's going to give me all the changes made. So as you can see, it writes that CSS code for me. All I just need to do is to copy this and then I can go into my code. So I'm going to copy this, come back into VS Code and close this. And I'm going to go into index.css and I can add my custom styling right under here. As you can see, this is all the custom styling that we exported and I'm just going to save it. What I'm now going to do is to come back in here so I could quit this and I'm just going to copy that local host and open it up again. So as you can see, we have that new styling being added. So it has been added. As you can see, it has made all the changes. Just so you can see the difference, I'm going to remove this. Save. As you can see, this is what it was initially or after we added the code. Now this is what it is. So this is a very, very basic example, but think about how you can actually use this. You know, you're building something, you want to quickly change an element. You can just come in here and drag it around or, you know, change it with a couple of buttons and export the code. This is quite useful. And once again, if you want to check it out, the link is in the description below. And thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please drop it down in the comment and also drop in the comment what videos you want me to do. So if you have any video idea or anything specifically you want to learn about, drop it down in the comments and I'll make sure to look at all of that. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.